I come across a few common myths in sales. These are the things most commonly believed to be true, but these are not. In fact, if we believe them, then we are making a big mistake because then we start focusing on wrong things and tend to ignore the important things. In this video, I am going to talk to you about top 3 myths and what is right instead. Now myth number one, techno commercially best proposal gets the order. We believe that if we propose technically the best solution that fits client requirements very well, gives him a great ROI or solve his problems, that too in the most efficient manner if we use the best quality components that will ensure that our equipment is reliable and long life, it will have lowest service issues. It saves tons of money for the customers. If we engineer the best solution, that will result in the best performance, efficiency, and ensures great output quality. We believe that we can get orders if we accomplish all of this. Now, this is not 100% correct. Yes, to qualify, you need to comply with the most of the things, but that's not enough. Always remember, the buying decisions are based on 20% on logic and 80% on emotion. Even in engineering projects and more so in high value equipment. Now by working hard on engineering, best quality components, best design, best technology etc. You are fighting only 20% battle of logic. No doubt, you need to qualify there, but you cannot rely only on that. In a separate video, I have already explained the role of logic and emotion in buying process. Buying decisions are based on emotions such as trust, confidence, liking, fears, frustration, wants, aspirations, pains, etc. Unless we dig into such emotions, we are leaving 80% to chance. Now myth number two, lowest bidder gets the order. We believe that buyers always go with the lowest price or they don't understand quality and technology etc. Please understand when it is a crucial equipment or a project is under consideration, Clients are equally or more concerned about quality, reliability, long life, service issues, service support, etc. They always look at the value and not the price. When you want to buy something high value product, do you go for the cheapest? Never, right? If I ask parents which school they would like their kids to go, the cheapest one or the costliest they can afford? And the answer is always the best cool they can afford. Same is the case with every buyer. They want the best solution that fits their requirement where they will get the best value for their money. Price is what they have to pay. Value is what they get. Price always comes later. Now myth number three, quick submission of proposals or quotation will put us ahead in competition. Now we believe that we are under obligation to submit proposal as early as possible for two reasons. One, the customer is pushing you to submit the proposal at the earliest. And two, we believe that if we submit the proposal quickly, we will be ahead of competition you know, than others who take time to submit their proposal. Whereas the fact is, is that the client does not decide for ages after that you get tired following up. They even stop responding sometimes. I always recommend that submitting the proposal should be just like a formality towards the end of the service cycle. When you submit proposal quickly, customer has the solution you prescribe in his hand with all the information. Now, without building rapport, understanding the motivations, 
and important considerations for buying, you do not stand a chance of getting orders. You have to increase touch points so that you can qualify the inquiry, understand urgency, understand their frustration, wants, aspirations, pains, so that you can use all that knowledge to engage with the customers, build rapport and confidence in them about you. What are your views on this point? What's your experience? Do you fully agree, partially agree or disagree with these points? Let me know that in the comment box and then we can brainstorm. Thank you.